Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Triangle Strategy. We're going into Chapter 19 today. So I think we're approaching the end of uh, our first playthrough here. Let's get into it. Um, the last episode, we finally beat Chapter 18, which has been the hardest fight we've experienced thus far. So if you want to see that, it took me nine attempts. Nine attempts. The Rizal Village was like six. And securing the Elfric. Serenoa and his retinue make for the source to free the Roselle. Meanwhile, Byzantian forces commanded by Exham arrive at Castle Wolfort's doorstep, intent on claiming the salt crystal deposits for themselves. Refusing to hand over the salt, House Wolfort has barricaded themselves inside with oh, hundreds man. of soldiers. I'm scared for Benedict, I really Their am. Their outright defiance makes Exham cautious, suspecting some sort of trap. He opts to surround the castle and prepares for an extended siege. Okay, we got some time to help him out, but I feel Wolfort like, maybe. But the Wolfort soldiers don't move an inch. Patience worn thin, Exham orders an attack. His soldiers swarm into the castle. Oh, no. Hold fast to courage. I'm, I'm terrified of what's going to happen to House Wolfort. Knowing the choice that we made. There's no one here. Oh, what they're is gone. the meaning of this? Ah, <laughs> yes. Our scouts didn't see enemy soldiers, only straw dolls. Minister Exham, the castle is empty. They must have abandoned the castle, told their people to flee. Damn, they twisted our vigilance against us to buy themselves time. But where have they gone to? I cannot say. What are you scheming, Wolfort? <clears throat> well, seize the castle in any case. This domain belongs to Hyzat now. Sir. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to see where that goes. After routing Exham with his strange strategy and seeing Wolfort's people safely to Glenbrook's crown city, Benedict disappears. His actions draw Hyzant's full attention entirely to the Wolfort domain making it easy for Sarah Noah and his retinue to slip into the source. Maybe they went but to the Roselle they village? Can convince the Roselle to rebel depends entirely on Frederica. Which way the winds of fate will blow is anyone's guess. All right, let's do this. Hold fast to courage. What are you? <laughs> Anna's a badass. Freaking love her. Goddess, what have you done? Who? Who are you? My name is Frederica S. Frost. Daughter of Orlea, the woman who led the Source Rebellion 30 years ago. With me is Lord Saranoa of House Wolfort. My... husband. Ooh. We have come to liberate you, but we cannot do it without your help. We need you to take a stand and fight by our side. So it seems like she's made her choice, huh? Technically we aren't married, but she's willing to call us her husband anyway. Husband? It's true, then, what they say? That you accepted a Roselin as one of your own? Hell yeah. Yes, Frederica is my wife. So, did I miss something? Did they actually get married at some point? Because they didn't, right? <laughs> I'm not just, like, missing a piece of dialogue where it happened off screen or something, right? <laughs> House Wolfort <laughs> pledges itself to the Roselle's defense. Let us leave this wretched place far behind us. 
leave Hyzant? No. We'd only be throwing ourselves upon the soldiers' swords. Our ancestors stained us with sin the moment they tried to hoard salt for themselves. The goddess will never absolve us unless we dedicate our lives serving her here. Don't keep us from our atonement. It's not like there's anywhere for us to go, even if we fled. There is. My mother told me of the Rosellin homeland. A place far, far to the south, surrounded by a vast expanse of salt water. Centralia. Everything's already in place for your escape. All that we need to succeed is for you to trust us. Centralia. A vast expanse of salt water. It's... it's just a myth. You can't expect us to believe it's real. I knew Lady Olea. You... you do bear her likeness. It's the pink hair. Uh, she too insisted the Holy State's teachings were a lie. That we must break the chains false goddess bound us with and seek Centralia. Those words sparked rebellion. But only a handful of us managed to escape in the inn. Took a bit of the goddess's statue with them. That's all. Let's take a little bit more I of was a statue, child huh? at the time, so I don't remember it that well. Still, I doubt you lot will accomplish much more than she did. I understand your hesitation, but nothing will change if we do not take a stand. Do you really want our people to be trapped here, forever? Of course not, but... We fear what Hyzant will do to us. No one can defy the Goddess. That's what they have always taught us. <sighs> I understand. It isn't easy to act against generations of oppression and terror. Then we destroy the very thing that represents all they fear. The statue of the goddess. Show them she can be defeated. Best do it soon. I doubt we have much time until Hyzant realizes we're here. None of you move. Oh, man. Alright, so it's gonna be Camcel, huh? I wonder if we're gonna see who the, uh... Here a font is before we end this game. Okay, so we've got several character stories to look at, so obviously we're gonna be going there first. Um, looks like we got Trish, we've got Eridor, and we've got Hewitt. So, let's go. Let's do it. You hold it right there. I said stop. I say, I huh? say. What's that about? Ain't nowhere left to run. Hey, what's all the fuss? This poor boy stole an apple that was out for sale. That true, you little brat? <clears throat> I know you can hear me. Is it? What else was I to do? I was starving to death! A thief, then. Justice must be served. Uh, no! Let me go! If you want fruit, buy it. With what coin? My mom and dad died in the war. We've got nothing at home! Just come quietly. Wait. Let him go. And why should I do that? Because I'm gonna pay for the apple. Now will you let him go? I'm telling you, he won't do it again. I'm taking him under my wing. I don't care what you do with him, long as I get my money. Give me my money, I say, I say. Just tell him we better not catch him stealing again. Why did you help me?
Dunno. Guess it just felt like the right thing to do. Now, you're gonna promise me that you're done thieving. For good. On my parents' graves. Thank you. The both of you. That's a sad line. Letting him off with a mere promise. I pray he keeps it, but I have my doubts. In a world like this, sometimes you can't help but stoop to stealing. I should know. That's how I made it this far. But it's no longer how you live now. Is that so? You're damned right! Even when we were bandits, my pa always told me never to steal from the poor. I've got no need for a world where the rich get richer. So I never once thought what we were doing was wrong. We were noble bandits, allies of the poor and the suffering. That was the oath I took, and I meant every word of it. None of that excuses thievery, which you've sworn to House Wolfort you're done with. That, of course, but. What? Well, Pa now makes an honest living helping people. Me, on the other hand. There's gotta be something I can do to help the poor. Okay, I guess we'll have to see if we get an update on that in a future character story. Alright, Eridor brushes off the subject of Benedict's sought-after flower. But why? Made it in time, my lord. Eridor, you came. Lady Destra. Your mother was loved by one and all, my lord. Honoring her this day is the least we can do. Is it just you here, my lord? We are beset on all sides by tasks, large and small. I would not impose my familial obligations on the others. <laughs> Spoken like a true leader. Me and your mother may not have been family by blood, but duty bound us just as close. I am sure she would have been overjoyed to see you by my side. I never had a chance to know her. My only memories are from stories others told me. And still, I somehow can feel the warmth of her embrace, hear the loving sound of her voice. She was smitten, that is true. She held on to you so tightly. I reckon not even the Dawn Spear could have pried you from her. <laughs> Did she? Lady Destra's smile was brighter than the sun, and near as constant. She treated young Benedict and I like little brothers, though at times we weren't so deserving of her care. Even so, she always had a kind word and worry enough to spare. There weren't a woman like her in all of Norzelia. I did not know the bond between you three ran so deep. Benedict never mentioned it. His lips aren't as loose as mine, especially when it comes to Lady Destra. Mm. Speaking of which, here. Your mother would have loved to get one of these from you. She was like a mother figure to all of them. A snowbell? My father mentioned her fondness for these flowers. Every year, when I visited her, without fail, one of these would be placed in front of her grave. Was that you all this time, Benedict? Uh, well, not exactly, my lord. They're quite rare, are they not? I often search for them, but I have yet to see one in bloom. Where did you find it? Uh, well, I made a journey down south. Benedict insisted. Apologies for my absence, my lord. There is not to apologize for. 
It was a thoughtful gesture, and I thank you for it. Somehow, I can feel Mother smiling down upon us. <laughs> More than I deserve, if I'm being honest. Huh. There's already a snowbell. Who could have... Should have known. Nothing will stop him from his duty. What was that? Hmm? Uh, it was nothing, my lord. Seems we're not the only ones carrying a torch for Lady Destra. Indeed. We are fortunate to be part of such a close-knit house. And that is thanks to those who serve it. I trust I'll see you here again in a year's time, Arador. Of course, my lord. Snowbells might capture a moment in time, but your mother inspired loyalty for an eternity. Um, we're gonna be in Centralia in a year? Just gonna throw that out there, Saranoa? <laughs> the writing of that one didn't quite account for that. We're just gonna say that this scene, a lot of these scenes can be taken out of time, so this happened earlier in the playthrough, before we made that decision. Because obviously right now we are not going back here to put flowers on our, our on our mother's grave. <laughs> so this this happened earlier in the playthrough. All right. So Hewitt, while out training, Hewitt recalls a promise she made to Roland before the war began. At it again, eh? You know, even the Dawn Spear set down his weapon on occasion. We are at war. I cannot hope to end it by being idle. Huh. <laughs> Spoken like a true member of the King's Guard. You lot were always too serious for my tastes. We were not serious enough. Where is the king we were meant to protect now? What will become of his kingdom? Hmm. <sighs> King Regna and Crown Prince Franny are no more. Only Roland and Cordelia remain. When I think of how lonely my charge must feel, I almost feel smothered by the guilt. If he's lonely, he hides it well. Could be that losing his princely obligations has lifted a weight off his shoulders. And who are you to speak on his feelings? Ooh, a little his defensive. father ever doted on Franny. He knew precious few moments of his mother's love before she passed. Even so, he tried his utmost to never show weakness in front of his sister. He was there for her in the worst of times. There was never a place near the throne for him. Truth be told, Sir Maxwell was more of a father to him than anyone. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to think I have been more than his guard. Oftentimes, I felt like his confidant. It's one of the reasons why I'm actually a little bit upset that the game has not given us any scenes with him and uh, Maxwell. I think that that was a missed opportunity. When we recruited him, there should have been a scene. You know? It'll probably come up in a character story for one or both of them. I don't know, but I, I still find it weird that he's been with our team for this long, and we haven't seen a single scene of the two of them talking about anything. <laughs> Small complaint, but it's odd. <laughs> it's odd, and I think they should have done something. You and Flugi are constant companions. As I said before, my prince, he is more than my companion. He is the truest friend I could ask for. A true friend? I must admit, I envy your relationship. My prince, I did not mean to. Tis nothing to apologize for. I simply find the idea of soaring the skies with a true friend to be somewhat romantic. You could do the same with the proper training. If it pleases you, my prince, I would gladly teach you. You would? Then I gladly accept. 
I trust you will go easy on me. I can promise no such thing. You must become as ferocious as a hawk yourself if you wish to ride one. So why can't he hawk ride, huh? Let's get him off that horse and get him on a hawk. <laughs> War broke out soon after that. My promise uh, to teach him is yet unfulfilled. There's the answer. So I will train. I will fight. Until the skies are no longer clouded by the fires of war. Only then can I rest. Only then can we fly free. Perhaps then, with the wind in our faces, we can forget our stations, our titles, if only just for one moment. Uh, what was that last part? You'll have to speak up. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yes, it's back to training for me. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. He cares about you. Okay, let's jump into the encampment. Um, I know that we do have one upgrade item. We need to check what else maybe we can get. So we got class promotion, and let's see, no new Medal of Valors, unfortunately. We finally can get Rejuvenate. So we're gonna do that. Hidden Reserves, you're coming next, buddy. All right. Okay. So those are the four that we've got promoted currently. Increases your movement by one when enemies are nearby. That's kind of nice to be able to get you out of danger, but... Spring in your step. Increases your movement by one with clear weather. Decreases damage taken when HP is at 50% 50 or below. I kind of want to do it to you, because I kind of wish that you had had this in the last fight. So 46, what is it standardly? I don't think I can check, can I? No, but we do know a bunch of your stats are going up. And as a tank, that would be pretty damn useful. Um, who else would be a good contender? Possibly you. Revive? That sounds really good. <laughs> Level 33 ability. Okay, we got time before that's viable or usable, I suppose, so maybe we won't do that for him right now, but it does sound really good. Right of luck. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be Eridor. I think it's gonna be Eridor. Probably higher evasion uh, if you are 50% or lower. That's my guess on that one. All right, it's you, Eridor. Now you can tank a little bit better. Ha ha! Ain't no way I'd lose. All right, I have some, let's see. Yep, so let's get an Electrum. Sacred Bow. for one turn, deal lightning type magic damage to all enemies and have a chance to paralyze them for one turn. Huh. I wonder if it's um the same uh, diamond shape as the ability that uh, 
uh, Frederica has. Sounds really good. What do we need for that? Superior timber and stone. Okay. Jump to a selected square, then deal physical damage to all enemies within range. Okay. So, it might be similar to his aerial strike. Probably a uh, plus. Okay. Timber and stone. actually hits everybody on the map. That'd be too strong, though. That can't be it, but that's the first ability we've seen that costs that much TP, so it has to be really good. Huh, so we can't even get that then until... Hmm, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um... Just spent the money on that, too. Alright. Who has upgrades available? You do... Damage dealt by critical hits. Um, honestly, yeah. We definitely have a crit build on you, and we're probably going to be moving that crit stuff back onto you. So, if it's not even on you right now, it'll probably go back to you, so. I mean, that definitely is the one I want, so. Okay, increase strength or increase speed. What about you? Speed for you would be pretty good. have any new books or anything, right, Archibald? Nope. Minecart tactics. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a thing. Pursue and defeat the fleeing enemy general before time runs out. Pay attention to the movements of the other enemies to avoid counterattacks. Okay. Well, we're going to try it. Good. Alright, let's look at the map real quick. So this is the general. He's going to be using these himself. Gotcha. So if he goes there, he's got a couple different options of directions he could go. Interesting. So we've got a couple of positions we can put people on. I won't let right. you down. We want some of our fastest now, moving arms. units on this map and people with shall um, bring victory. movement abilities. As you command. 
I've been waiting for this. You got it. I people I'll with do my um, best. Hold on, let's just check this real quick. What is his resistances? Okay. So we can probably lock him down. So let's see. You don't really have anything that stops people. No, Springtrap does, right? They'll be knocked back. Okay, they've got him set up in such a spate, uh, in such a way that on his first turn, no matter what, he's going to be able to jump on this. So, what we need is something that can paralyze him. Not a trap, because he'd have to move onto a trap, right? So we need to be able to paralyze him or do like a slumber. So you've got a slumber shot. I'm on it. And you've got. Please leave everything thunder. to me. Those are the types of things that might be really useful here. Um, let's just see if we can blitz this in some way. We might be able to, honestly, um, if we're smart about it. Like, I wonder if I should try, like... Hmm. Okay, so we got our item over there. Anna's gonna get to go pretty fast already.
Hey, we have a hundred turns. Minecarts. The rail will glow blue when a cart can be used, and the opposite area station will become selectable. The yellow panels indicate minecart call stations. When you are standing next to a station where there is no cart, you can call the cart over from the opposite station. Keep in mind that a cart deals damage to anything on the rails that it travels on. Okay, same overview as before. I just want to see if I can blitz this. Let's just see, see what happens this first turn. Um, obviously, we don't have as many people over on this side as maybe I should for a blitz, but um, the blitz is going to work the best if we can get My paralysis. Time is now. If we only can get slumbers, it's not going to be nearly as effective, right? It's only a 15%, so not great. Stay down. And his speed is crazy good. And we got it! Within me. Hell yeah. Dude, that's so good. Your orders? Okay, he's gonna be a three. you the heavens ring I won't lose take this for my kingdom here I come was a pretty good attack my friend Like this, I will fight to my last breath. Okay, we didn't lock him down. Now it's my turn. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Should have put more people on this side, Ready. for sure. Shut your trap! <laughs> I don't play around! Oh, careless of me! You little... Wow, they're hitting hard. Give me my kid. Yeah. They're quite strong. Please work. There's more yet to learn. Okay, 
Like, pretty much all of my characters can be two shot on this map, feels like. I can still move. Judge you. You'll regret facing me. New power overflows within me. Okay, Feisty, we're not going to be able to get him. Over. For victory! I will go, you see that? We probably could have caught him first I turn if we took it a little in. bit more seriously at the start. And set everybody up over closer to him. Yeah! Curses! Okay, what else do we got? Okay, is there... You're gonna be going somewhat soon. Who's number two? Is it somebody who's going to be able to kill you? No, they're way over there. So if I were to use Light Wave, would I be able to get you close enough? Yes. Son of a bitch. That was my bad. I misclicked that hardcore. Um, no! that's gonna, that might cost this me the fight. Over yet. That might cost me the fight. Aim and fire! See if our people can survive one more turn to uh, get the final touches oh, on this guy. I'm kind of doubtful. Um, really needed to have gotten that off, to be honest. In your hands now. So it comes to battle. I've got it. Yeah, I don't think we have enough damage anymore. Feisty, aren't we? No slack at all. Obvious. Oh wow, the dude's got speed, too. How did he get two turns so close to each other? Ugh. Yeah, we could have gotten this. I have 
Yes. That misclick may have been they enough. Buy something fierce. I hold you. Honestly. Hold on. How much does straight shot? No, we don't have enough TP. Okay. I strike true! That's it! This is no joke. I'll give it my best. Guy's in just the right spot. Time to work. Allow victory is within reach. How much? Uh, forty percent on poison. If it works, he dies. Suffer. Victory is within reach. Cool. We got him. Unless they route us this turn before he goes. A wasted effort. Ugh. Too obvious. There it is. <laughs> All right. Not the cleanest, but the job got done, damn it. Okay. All right, we could try that one again in the future if we wanted to, uh, you know, try and do it the real way, I guess. And also try and get the item that was on the map, which um, I guess would have been maybe the quality timber or quality fiber, which those are worth getting. Those are 1,500 gold items, so... Or wait, no, that's superior, isn't it? Quality is um, the mid-tier, right? Yeah, superior, okay. Um, but still, they're good items. They'd be worth getting. Oh man, it makes me so sad. Okay, well, maybe we'll be, uh, ranking her up on the next, uh, the next time we get one of those. So that we can get that ability. It sounds really good, so... Okay, that's straight into a battle, so there's no more story for us to get. Let's make sure that there's no side stories. There are not. Okay, well, if that's the case, then we are going to go ahead and end this episode right here. In the next episode, we are going to be checking out this main story battle. Um, looks like we're going to be coming up against Camsel, so it's going to be uh, probably a tough one, knowing uh, how tough these uh, Izant soldiers are. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.